morning and welcome to Everyday Me part two or part three. God, I'm losing track already, that's not a good sign. Um, so today it's bank holiday Monday and I'm going out for brunch with three of my best girlfriends, Sophie, Hannah and Vicky, and we're gonna go to the Hoxtonhoven. Um, I've only ever been there for work meetings, so it's gonna be nice to go there on a more chilled note. But I thought I'd quickly do an outfit of the day before I head out. Um, and also I decided that because yesterday I said I was going to link all my outfit things that could take quite a long time so instead what I've done is I've made a page on my blog called shop um, where I've basically just linked most of the stuff in my wardrobe so I will leave that blog post down below um, and most of the stuff that I'm wearing should be in that blog post so today I'm wearing this bow top from Oasis this is an exception, it's not going to be in the shop because it's quite old. I got this last season, loads of you guys asked where it was from in my spring wardrobe essentials and I was like sorry it's really old, I did try to find a new one and I email, even emailed them um, to see if they've got a new version but they haven't. And then I'm wearing my River Island trousers, I wore these quite a lot at Fashion Week and these are linked on the shop page. Then also, where is it, I'm taking my Valentino handbag. Um, kind of goes with what I'm wearing today, including my new lipstick, which is Tom Ford Forbidden Pink, which I'm a big fan of. So this is how the outfit of the day looks all together, bag, and these shoes are from, I think they're from Dorothy Perkins or Miss Selfridge, but they're quite old as well. So I've got a little goodie bag full of products to give my friends later. They are in for a treat, got some nice bits and bobs in there for them to rummage through. So I'm going to head out now and meet the girls. buying beach things, Sophie's got a nice caftan, Hannah's got a hat, I know she's got speakers, speakers for the beach, <laughs> what have you got Vic? I ain't got nothing, Vic's got nothing, I've got a suitcase, <laughs> yes we're having a wonderful time, I love my suitcase, I like the light suitcase, what you got Vic? of a little biscuit, pink whipped cream, meringue, what's this bit? Isn't that cake? It's fabulous, thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, really <laughs> Just got back home again and Dexter is in such a crazy mood. Charlie's not here, he's gone out for drinks with his friends so I'm not too sure how long Dexter's been alone by himself but he's seriously hyper. 
He is kissing me like crazy and just wants to shred everything. So I've just been having a little play with my little boy. My brows are looking so much better. I had them waxed and tinted on Good Ship Benefit and I completely forgot, but if you get your brows done by Benefit throughout May, you get a free Guinea brow, which is so good because Guinea brow is like 18 pounds, but it cost me nine pounds to get my brows done. So that's really good. Um, it's because they're doing their Benefit Brow March this month. So I have talked about this in a previous vlog, but it's such a good thing to do. It's basically a march um, and the two charities are Refuge and um, I think it's a Women's Council one, I can't remember the name of it. But all the proceeds for the march go to that and it's such a fun day out. Mum and I did it last year. If I can find the vlog, I'll link it down below. I think it was one of my first ever vlogs. Um, and it's like a march, maybe two hours around London and all the girls from Benefit are there. You get like little makeup samples, you get glasses with the brows on, we got capes, we got t-shirts, and it was just so much fun. So if you're around London on May the 8th, which is this weekend, I think, annoyingly I'm not, I'm in Lanzarote, um, but if you are around, it's so worth going, it was so much fun. So yes, that is what Benefit are doing this month. We had a glass of champagne each, or actually we had a bottle, so we had a few glasses each, um, and then we had a cup of tea because we are grannies, and we had a benefit Sunday, which was amazing. I've definitely filmed that, so you guys will have already seen it. Um, and yeah, I'm home now, and it's so rare that I have the house to myself and Charlie's not here, so I'm gonna be really tragic, and I'm gonna put something crap like Homes Under the Hammer on the TV. I'm gonna get a video edited, probably the beginning of this one, and one of the ones that I filmed yesterday. So yeah, I need to get ahead because tomorrow and Wednesday are work, 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 meetings all day. So I'm gonna crack on with some work now, try and get ahead of myself. But oh my God, what's he got? He's shredding something. What have you got, you naughty boy? Oh, he's got a toilet roll. You're a beast, you're in such a naughty mood. Let go. Let go, you did it. Well, I'm glad to see your eyes a little bit better. Naughty boy, let go. God, he's clinging on for dear life. No. Naughty boy. Oh my God, I told you he was in a naughty mood. Okay, actually, I probably better put that in the bin, hadn't I? Yes, I'm talking about you, you little monster. So I'm gonna go and put some super comfy clothes on and I will show you what I picked up in Primark. I'll do a mini Primark haul because um, I'm not gonna film a whole Primark video because I think I only got about five things. So I'll give you a little mini in-vlog Primark haul. Okay, so the first thing, of course, that everything is in is this massive suitcase. I got this because it looks quite like... Um, I can't remember the name of the brand, I think it's something like Brick or... Oh, Dexter, he's in a really horny mood. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, I thought it was quite nice detail with these kind of shoulder shoulder pads, corner pads. Um, Dexter, you can't hump my suitcase. So, yeah, I thought that was quite a nice design and this was £38. Yeah, so quite pleased with that. Inside the suitcase we have the main Primark bag. Um, I'll just take that out so you can see the suitcase in more detail. So it's got this big zippy pocket so you can zip up that section and then it's got the straps over this side. I thought this was a really good size suitcase um, for upcoming trips like Lanzarote which are four or five days and you don't really need one of your big suitcases but hand luggage is just not quite enough. So in this bag, let's see. So I picked up, oh, first things first, <laughs> super boring, I picked up a couple of rolls, that's my receipt, a couple of rolls of their cotton pads because they're 50p and I think in boots um, it's a pound for these so got those and I also like, I'm not sure if you can see but they have like stitching so they don't, um, they don't like unravel when you're using them so they're really good. Stop it! When he's, oh, when he's horny he likes to chew things, he's shredded my dressing gown to smithereens so I'd rather you didn't shred ho Oh, look, he's made a hole in it. Stop it, little beastie. Oi, stop it. <laughs> and then I picked up a shirt. This is actually too big for me. Um, I think I got a size 10. Let's see. Um, yeah, size 10, but it was 10 pounds and I thought over the top of a bikini, this would look really cute. So just really loose with the sleeves rolled up, maybe even tie it into a bit of um, a tie waist. 
and yeah I thought that would look really nice just undone really loose over the top of a bikini next inside the bag I picked up this blanket or this throw Dexter stop it so this is really lovely kind of pastel colors I'm trying to show you in a better light yeah so we've got this beautiful pastel colored throw it's so soft literally the softest thing ever um I really got this for Trek America more than anything because um I don't know, we're camping, so I thought it'd be nice to have something nice and cosy, nice and warm, and something nice and soft and snuggly. What else? I also, also picked up this dressing gown. I thought it looked a little bit Victoria's Secret-ish with the pink and white stripes, and then it's also got this lovely lace detail and some pom-poms down there as well. This was £8, I want to say. Let's have a look. £10 for this, um, and this, I think, was £5. Don't quote me on that, though. Not too sure. Um, and yeah, and again, for holidays, I like to wear dressing gowns when I'm on holiday. And to be honest, there was nothing wrong with my white lacy one, but I thought this one was cute. And my friend Sophie also got uh, the matching ones, so we can be cute and matching when we wear them together. Couple more things. I picked up this handbag because I thought it was quite... I mean, it's not really a dupe for the Chloe um, Faye bag. Not Faye, what's it called? The Chloe Hudson but it is fairly similar along the same lines and I think this will be a nice bag for summer travelling on holiday. It's big enough for my Olympus camera and my purse and a few other bits and bobs as well. This I think was £12? Let's see. £9, yeah. So really, really chuffed with that. And last but not least, I got this candle mostly because it is rose gold. This was £5 and it smells really nice. It's called Golden Dew um, scented candle. And yeah, Charlie and I like to have lots of candles down in the lounge, so I thought I'd pick up a new one. So you know how I said I had loads of work to do? Well, I've ended up just procrastinating instead. So I'm having a major makeup clear out, which I have to say is long overdue. I've got a little collection of foundations and moisturizers over there that I'm going to chuck out. I've got um, an hourglass, this is probably the most expensive foundation I ever bought, it's the hourglass liquid powder foundation and I got this from Sephora back in September last year, actually it's not a year old, I thought it was going to be over a year old, um, but it was never quite right for my skin so £58, not very well spent, that's going in the bin because I never use it. Um, actually have I got any friends that might like this? I might put this in a bag for my friends actually. Um, I've got the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream because I have not used that in so long either. It's definitely over a year old. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is from last summer but there is so little left in here and I have got another full one so there's no point in keeping that. Same with this one, Rimmel True Match. I only tend to wear this foundation in winter and I do love it in winter but it's a drugstore one so I can buy a new one when it comes to winter season and there's not that much left in here either. Then I've got a few little splodges left in my Liz Earl moisturiser. Again, I love this stuff. But there's no point in keeping one that's nearly empty when I haven't used it in ages. Nivea Express Hydration Primer. I just never really got along with that that well. Um, NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. Again, hardly anything left in there and it's super old. And then I'm going to put this in the box, my friends, because it's Rimmel True Match and it's just... I don't know, just never really worked for me. I don't know if I just didn't really like the coverage, but just not a big fan of this. So that again is going in my friend bag. So it's a few hours later now. It's about 20 to 10. Um, I'm just sitting in the lounge. I've got Made in Chelsea on in the background. I'm also watching vlogs, mega double screening. I'm becoming so obsessed with watching like really cinema cinematographic? Cinema cinematic. Oh my god. I'm becoming really obsessed with watching cinematic um travel vlogs. Like there's so many people that have got this DJI Osmo, I think it's called, and the DJI Phantom 3 or 4 drone. And their travel videos are amazing, like giving me some serious inspiration for videos I want to create this year. I'm seriously considering getting a drone for Trek America because I just think 
the kind of footage that I could get with that would be so amazing but they're expensive so not a decision I'm going to just make like that so if anyone's got a drone or has any drone knowledge then please do share with me um, I'm going to have a Miller Crunch Corner now my favourite food in the whole world I literally love them so much I have about for a day <laughs> um and charlie's not back home yet he hasn't replied to my text for like two hours very naughty um but i'm gonna take dexter up to bed with me because when charlie's not here i like to kiss dexter in bed and charlie's very ocd and doesn't let dexter in the bed so i'm going to be naughty and take this little sausage into bed with me because he's still a little bit poorly um and when we're there i'm going to edit this vlog so i thought i would say good night switch off and i'll see you in the morning for a really busy day of meetings um actually two busy days of meetings so yeah that's the plan bye